Good morning, boy. Eating your oatmeals? Mmm. Why are you standing your plate like that? Mmm? Why are you standing your plate like that, silly? That's good oatmeals? Nummy num. You're a good eater now. Huh. I can do it all by myself, huh, Mama? You getting two feathers in? Getting his first feathers. Little cutie with the nasty booty. Your little poopy habits are getting better, though. Mm. As long as I stay right here with him, he'll eat his food. But if I get up and walk away, even just a few feet over to my chair, he goes crazy. He won't stay over here by himself. I guess that's how chicky babies are. They want to be with their mamas. Hmm. Ain't that right, baby boy? Mommy and daddy's little nugget. We have chickens under the house right now going crazy. Sounds like a hawk just got one of the babies outside. I heard one of the hens screaming. These are not our chickens. They're stray chickens in the neighborhood. We just moved into the house about four months ago and we had, uh, I think there was, there was five black sisters and their mama, so that's six. Henrietta makes seven. Thelma and Louise makes eight and nine. And Pearl is ten. Yeah, so we had ten and then Henrietta had eight babies the day before we moved in and four the day we moved in two days later and then by the first week that we were here Henrietta all of Henrietta's babies were gone she ended up with she had another batch a couple weeks later and about another eight or was it six and all of those got taken by predators and now she's got five left out of the third batch she's had since we've been here and um she started off with eight she's got five left and they're almost fully developed i mean like fully grown um they're getting just as big as she is so she did really good with them and um now i think we have we have those 10 plus her five plus Thelma had eight and lost two. So 10 and 15, she's got six and it's 21. And then we've got three of the black sisters. One of them has two, so that's 23. And the other two have one each, so that's 25. We have 25 chickens, stray chickens, that like to hang out in our backyard and on our back porch and uh we've got two nests going on two of the black sisters one of them has had a nest she should be hatching this week um but one of her sisters keeps stealing her eggs she comes up behind her in the nest and tries to scare her off of it and then <laughs> when her back is turned she scoops her eggs up and rolls them underneath her and she's still got a little baby this, just uh, two days older than this guy. She had four or five, but one of the other hens, Thelma, killed three of her babies. And uh, one of them got smushed when a piece of board fell on him. Did you just eat that bug? Good boy. You're doing so good. He was the last born on the third day after Mama had 
already been attempting to leave the nest with the other older babies to take them out on their first expedition. And um, he was a very floppy little guy. Like, he didn't have his coordination until he was five days old at all. Like, his brothers and sisters were all up walking around, and he was just flopping around everywhere. I think that's why Mama abandoned him. And he fell behind the water heater, and I found him. I didn't even know he had hatched yet. I heard him back there, found him, and um, tried to give him to Mama, and she had no interest in him. And then she started to try to peck him, <clears throat> which kind of scared me because I had seen one of the other hens kill the babies that way. So I brought him inside. Didn't I, boy? That's a good boy. What you looking at? And uh, I've been trying to teach him how to be a chicken. I take him out every day and let him interact with the other chickens and the other little chicky babies. Um, I keep a close watch on him though because Thelma is still trying to get to him and Henrietta who's the alpha of the yard tries to peck him whenever she gets near to so me and dad take him out and just keep a eye out for him and let him chicken around and that right that's a good boy that's a finger silly you gotta learn the difference between worms and fingers Fingers belong on mommy's hand. They pick you up and hold you when you're cold. Worms go in your little tummy. Ain't that right? This a good boy. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. We'll tweet you later. Bye.